Well hello there folks and welcome back to what is today going to be a video that I'm surprised I've never really covered before but today we're going to go through how you can get your hands on Void Highlord class. So the first thing you'll want to be doing is joining Turk and luckily you now have Swindle's head in the top right so you can head to him, walk all the way back and you can find yourself the Void Highlord. You're going to need 15 Rowans, Void Crystal A and Void Crystal B. If you don't have a Nilgath farming pet this could take you a little while. So Rowans of Nilgath you have two choices. Either you go through and grab yourself a 40 Nulgath Insignius, which is about eight weeks worth, or you have the option of completing the Void High Lords Challenge Quest, which will need a total amount of all the resources you can see below. I just thought if some of you wanted to bulk farm anything, that could be handy. Void Crystals A and B will need all of the below Nulgath farming regions. Mostly you can get these from supplies has been the Wheel of Chance, but if you're unsure on Nulgath farming, I made a guide for that literally a couple videos ago, so I'll post that down below. Anyway, so join Ultra Nulgath is where you can go and here in the merge shop you'll find yourself some Rowans if you'd like to trade in Nulgath insignias. Many of us that actually farm the class the old way didn't have this luxury back along but you know what it's here now so you might as well use it if you'd like to speed it up a little bit. So you need to be level 80, have the Hayden Onyx of Nulgath and also a voucher of Nulgath non-member in your inventory in order to accept the Void High Lords challenge quest. Let us begin with just talking over the voucher of Nulgath. This is just a generic farming region you can get it from things like supplies to spin the wheel of chance you're a free player which is going to be your best friend when you're going through doing this alternatively if you have loads of unidentified tens you can just buy it if your luck's been really bad from within the ripoff emporium i've literally just made a null gaff farming guide video for pay to win players and also free players so i'd recommend checking that out because we're not going to go super in depth in this particular video on all the different ways you can farm regents so we're going with the presumption you know what you're doing there and if you don't go check out that video it should help you out with the different ways you can get very different items. Anyway, so this is the path to Nilgath, and once you're here, this is where you can pick up the supplies to spin the Wheel of Chance quest. You can get it through Nilgath or through Drugent in the shop, either way, whichever one suits you better or which one you particularly prefer, accepting I think nowadays they're exactly the same and all the drop rates are identical. The voucher will also drop from the roulette Wheel of Misfortune if you want to do it that way. That's the Mana Elemental route with the Nilgath Larvae pet, that old school one. And while we're here, always worth just shouting out about Spindle's return policy because you can get yourself blood gems of the Archfiend which we'll come on to later. Anyway back to supplies to spin the Wheel of Chance if you've never ever had to farm for this before head along to Hydra Challenge, defeat the Hydra and get yourself Relics of Chaos or join Ultra Ultion and this is another top tier way to go along and grab yourself plenty of Relics. So stack up to 13 so you'll be doing 13 turn ends a time. Anyway the Hayden Onyx of Nulgath so this one is available from the Shadow of Nulgath monster which is right here on screen. This sword is a really low drop rate from memory so you can get it from him or you can actually go beat up Nulgath himself in Turk, which also will give you the drop eventually. They stack the two, you only need one though, and like I say, they can take a little while to drop, so that may require some patience. Anyway, let us get on with the main part of this quest now. So we're first of all going to be starting with the Black Knight Orb. You need to join at Green Guard West, you could probably join the well and go backwards if you prefer, but you know what, we like to take the scenic route round here, so this is the way you can get to him if you like. And there is one lovely Black Knight. He will have a quest for you and the quest we're going to be doing is the hardly suiting armor. I'm sure this one is bringing back nostalgic memories. You need to go defeat the Green Dragon. Uh, join Green Dragon. Join well and defeat Jello No. The items don't drop every single time but you will get them within two or three tries on average. Join Trunk for your next one and there you can find the Basilisk and finally join a Death Gazer. Defeat a Death Gazer and that will be all you need to do in order to turn in for your Black Knight. Or presuming of course you've picked up all the pieces along the way. Okay, once we've got that we're going to quickly move on to the Regent items that are in here. So you have Identified 13, Tainted Gems and Gems of Nulgath. All of these are covered in Supplies to Spin, the Wheel of Chance or other various farming quests in game. Like I said, I made a video on that recently so if you're not sure on those go check it out. If you happen to have loads of gold and items just stacked up, the Ripoff Emporium does sell the majority of those as well, so you can just go along the swindle and pick up some of those for a bit of gold and often unidentified tens. The main crux to this whole thing is just go along and do loads of supplies to spin the wheel of chance, turn it in loads, stack up loads of items because you'll need them later anyway for the void crystals, so you might as well go through and just keep on doing that, which is going to be the main part of your farm. Essence of Nulgath does drop from supplies to spin the wheel of chance, but you can literally just go along as you always could and defeat Dark Mac eyes, which is probably going to be the quicker way for you to go through and get those. So I definitely 
definitely recommend doing it that way. Next up, we have Elder's Blood. This one is a daily quest at Join Ark and Grove. You want to head down here and speak to Reens. In the daily task, you will see the Elder's Blood potion and just make sure you're taking this one and running that daily. Because if you don't, and if you haven't defeated your 50 Gorillaphants, you will not be doing this quite so optimum if you're trying to smash Void Highlord out in the minimum amount of time possible. Next up is Join Evil War Null for Archfiend's favour and Nulgaf's approval. It's 300 of these you're going to need per turn in. Probably the best place to go, or at least in my opinion. You know, I could be wrong. People will say down below probably where the most optimum spot is. I would go here. This is a four enemy room map, and they will drop you both of those items that you're needing as you can see them appearing on screen. So definitely recommend just going along there, standing there. There's always usually someone else here as well. Our next item is going to be the Emblems of Nulgaf at Join Shadow Blast. So you need to this NPC over here and accept the nation recruits seal your fate quest head inside the arena go left once and into this room here so the legion monsters are going to drop you the seals the shadow rise monster and the draconic doom knight is what's going to be giving you the gem of domination slightly lower drop rate on that one so don't worry if it's not dropping for a bit it should eventually appear for you Norgaf Shaped Chocolate is from Join Citadel by speaking to, it's either going to be Murray or Polish, I think, depending on whereabouts you are in the story. But within that shop there, you can buy it for 2 million gold. That is expensive. Join Yoga and go into the weapon shop and you'll find yourself a liters emerald. And once we've done that, you have got, hopefully, all of your rowants by this point. You can look at Void Crystal A, which is a load of regions. So unidentified tens, gems of Norgaf, dark crystal shards, and tainted gems. Like I say, if you've been smashing out supplies from the Wheel of Chance, you should should have a load of those stacked up already so hopefully you do they're pretty much all available from within here and that is definitely the way i would go about farming for those or of course if you have various other ways and nulgaf farming pets you can speed that process up a load with going through and doing those void crystal b you need some more elders blood we covered that earlier diamonds of nulgaf so blood gem of the archery and totems of nulgaf are the only real difference in here there's still generic regent items that you can go through farming but you do have a few different ways about going and grabbing those so first of all let's just talk about the ripple emporium blood gems of the arch fiend are right there at the top and they cost exactly the same as getting totem so you will need unidentified tens anyway and then you need three receipts of swindle each time which is going to cost you 900k gold i believe in total if you'd like to do it this way although totems you do have a slightly nicer way you can go about doing them which we'll talk about in a minute the Roulette Wheel of Misfortune quest does have a really low percentage chance on totems to get times two. Definitely not the way I'd be going about getting them, but you do also have a chance at Blood Gems of the Arch theme from that one as well. But it could take you a little while. Swindle's Return Policy, I'd definitely be doing that. It just uses items from Supply Spin the Wheel of Chance so you get some of the junk that drops. Turn it in and accept Blood Gems. A very good way to do it. Last thing to mention with totems is if you go along to Nulgaf Shop, you can actually access Jujun's quest directly through that. And in here, is Valge item totem of Nulgaf. Go along, farm some essences of Nulgaf and turn them in for times two totems. That is the old way, but still a pretty good way to go about it, especially if you're a free player. Anyway, folks, as always, thank you very much for watching. Please do leave a like and, of course, subscribe. And I'll see you all again for another one incredibly soon. So until then, have a lovely day.